For the last little while, we're doing the difference of squares, just factoring the difference of squares, which is factoring any two things subtracted from each other, right? So if we have, if we have one thing minus another thing, we can straight up factor this. It's just the square root of the first minus the square root of the second, all of it times the square root of the first plus the square root of the second, or vice versa, right? Plus or minus can be switched around. That's just straight up factoring, and factoring is just a way for us, it's just a tool that we have to be able to solve equations, and equations are basically models or uh, questions that we have, right? So if we want to turn this into a question, an equation, right, all we do is say this minus this equals something else. For right now, we're just going to say equals zero, right? So as soon as we have this right now, this becomes a question in mathematics, right? This minus, or a statement in mathematics, this minus another thing equals zero, right? Now, if we go back to solving our equations, or how to mess around with the equal sign, which is uh, series 3a, right? What we can do is just grab the, the pink box and move it over to the other side, right? So what we have now, this becomes either a question or a statement for us, right? This becomes the green box equals the pink box, right? And boxes in mathematics, in the, the way we're gonna use the symbol right now is, the box means you can put anything in there, right? It could be a gigantic function, function or it could be just a simple variable like x squared. That box, same thing. It could be a gigantic function or it could be a variable or a number. Same here, you could put a number here as well. So in this case, when we start talking about things like this, in general, as soon as I hit this point with most of my students, for me anyway, this was, this was a huge aha moment for me, where the difference of squares, kicking it into, factoring the difference of squares, kicking it into equations, solving for equations, for me, it made me realize that all we're doing is trying to see if something equals another thing, or when this equals this, or making a statement saying that this equals this at a certain point, right? So for example, initially, we, one of the first questions we did was x squared minus 4, right? One of the first things that we did was just x squared minus 4. We factored that, right? So all we're going to do now is just turn this into an equation and go equals 0, right? So if we're going to factor this, it just becomes... So we've got x minus 2 times x plus 2 is equal to 0, and we set each one equal to 0, so it's just going to be... Right, so we've got x minus 2 is equal to 0, and x plus 2 is equal to 0, and all you do is just grab this, bring it over, grab that, bring it over, right? So all we're going to have is just x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. So that's going to be your answer to this question. Okay. Now, we're talking, about, we're talking about quadratic equations, right? And x squared is a quadratic equation. It's a, this thing is a parabola, right? Now, what happens? Let's move the negative 4 over and take a look at what happens. And another way that you can solve for this, and it gives you a, uh, you know, it gives you a certain understanding of, and what we're going to do is graph this as well, and it gives you a certain understanding of, uh, you know, what what it is that we're actually doing. And it changes the formula a little bit, it changes the equation a little bit. So all we're gonna do is just move the four over and just see, see what, what solution that gives us. Okay. So let's do that same question, but moving the four over. So what's gonna happen is, now when it comes to solving equations, we already talked about this, and there's two ways that you can solve for this. One way is grabbing a 4, bring it over, and it turns it into x squared minus 4 equals 0. And we just did that one. So what you could do is just factor that, right? So you factor it out and you get, you know, your x equals 2 and x equals negative 2, right? The other way you can solve for this is all you need to do is do the opposite of what is being done to it, right? So if this is square, you take the square root of both sides, right? The square root of x squared is just going to be x. x is equal to the square root of 4 is, most people will say, you know, if you ask anyone what the square root of 4 is, they're going to say it's 2, right? But that's only half the answer. The square root of anything is plus or minus. So square root of 4 is going to be plus or minus 2. So there's actually two answers to this. The reason for that is, 
2 times 2 gives you 4, and negative 2 times negative 2 gives you 4, right? And we talked about this in series 2. So the answer to this is plus and minus 2. So x equals positive 2 and x equals negative 2. And that's the same answer that we got when we did the factoring version of this, right? Now this, when we set this question up, when we had x squared is equal to 4, graphically, this has, this has uh, you know, yeah, to, to visualize it, this has a certain meaning, okay? Now let's graph this just to explain what it is exactly that we're doing here. 